Hello, this is Jane Maday, and I would like to welcome you to the Journal Like an Artist channel. You may have noticed that's a name change. We've, we're going from Doodle Bliss to Journal Like an Artist because that is what my focus is now, is helping you share your feelings and your thoughts and your day in your journal through drawing. So today what we're going to talk about is a cast shadow, using a cast shadow under your drawing to help lift it off the page. And I've got an assortment here of um, Faber-Castell pit brush pens and Tombow brush pens. I've also got um, a pencil and a Pigma Micron fine liner. These are waterproof fine liners. So I'm going to do a simple drawing here. We're just going to draw a simple pencil like this. So I just do it really loosely, just kind of indicate it, and then I'll go back in and draw it properly with the Pigma Micron, which I've got here. And it's also useful to have a ruler with you if you want to get a straight line. So let's just start with that. This is just a very simple drawing of a basic number two pencil. So we'll start getting the lines in. And I draw it like this because a pencil sharpener leaves that kind of um, edges. It's not a straight edge. And then we go here to the point. I like adding pencils and pens uh, drawn into my journals. I think it's a fun way to draw attention to something that I've written or to show that I'm spending my day creating art. A pencil is a really good icon to indicate that. There's the eraser. Now a pencil, it also isn't completely round. It's um, octagonal. So let's draw a couple of lines there to indicate that it's got some flat sides. Okay, so there is my pencil. And I've gathered up all my colors of markers that I'm gonna use. So let's, um, let's start erasing the pencil sketch from underneath the ink lines. So we'll do that. And just add some simple color. It's another reason why I like drawing these number two pencils is I love this nice, cheerful, bright yellow. So here's some of the base colors. A little bit of pink for the eraser. And there's the wood. And the graphite. There we go. Now, in order to help make your drawing look round, uh, we're gonna add a little shading. So let's do a little shading on the bottom part like that. And a little bit, a little bit more shading on there. And a little bit on there. And now comes the part where we're talking about a cast shadow. And the cast shadow 
is where your pencil is going to be laying on your table. This is a cast shadow is the shadow that it casts. So what you want to do, I draw my shadow and it goes around. But look, this part of the pencil is not touching the paper. So when you have a pencil, it's like this. It's off the paper. If it was touching the paper, it would be tilted up like that. So you don't want your shadow to go around this part of the pencil. You want to show that that part is elevated off the table. And that's what helps it look like it really is sitting up. If you were to do your shadow, in fact, I'll just do it as a demonstration. If you do your shadow all the way around the pencil, it doesn't look like the pencil is lifted off the page anymore. So that is a tip to help you make your objects look like they have a little bit more dimension. Add your shadow along the bottom as a cast shadow, but you don't need to make it go all the way around the top. And if you want to, you can add a little bit of highlights. I like using a white gouache paint and a brush to add the highlights, but you can also use a paint pen or whatever you're comfortable with. So we'll just add Add a little highlight along there. And that also helps give it form and dimension. Now if I was drawing something different, something that was not sitting on the page, then I would not draw a cast shadow under it. Say I was drawing, here is um, a hand. Let's draw a hand that's going to be holding a flower. So I hope you can see that. Now, this is raised up. Your hand is not sitting on the paper. It's it's raised up. So this would not have a shadow underneath it. But you could put your shadow under the fingers if you want because they would cast a shadow on each other. Here we go. So you see no shadow under here, but you could add a shadow under each finger because they are casting a shadow onto each other and that adds more dimension to that hand. So I hope you found that helpful, and I hope you join me again next time on Journal Like an Artist. Bye-bye.